Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is That Neon Channel here, or Busted Knuckle Garage, whatever you want to call it. Today we're doing the uh, the cold air intake on the uh, the O1 Neon. I already started, but I figured you all would want to see this. So we're going to unclip this. There's another sensor right here. You're going to want to unplug it. I already unplugged it. The vacuum line right here. And we're going to want to disconnect the throttle cable over here, which I already did. Just disconnect it from there. Move it out of the way. And we're going to loosen this hose clamp, which, again, I already did. I'm going to have her hold that up there. Now we're going to have to remove this other hose clamp that is right there. Stock piece of flex pipe removed. Down to 350 miles an hour. So when you go 350 miles an hour, it doesn't fall off. Make sure it's nice and snug too. This is an AEM intake. If you all buy the AEM brand, I'm sure the eBay brand one is the exact same. But we got this AEM for a discount price, so we went with the AEM brand. instructions with this so if I get this wrong give me a break
now we're going to be reinstalling the throttle body back into its desired location. So now we're going to loosen that back up because Don't put the hose clamp underneath or the part you pull down because it'll get in the way of the vacuum line right here. Shouldn't you put the hose clamp on first? didn't take it out before you put the cold air intake. You should have cause the right way to do that. You don't want to wire brush these threads if they're rusty.
There's still a hose plant messing up. They didn't give us enough. Unless they expected us to use the old one. Okay, now all you do is you hook back up your wiring, you put the filter roll underneath of here, and here, there's a hole, come directly underneath, you'll see where my pretty blue intake pipe is, and then uh, that's it.